Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for June 3rd. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanesian pair. This pair surged to the upside today, closed higher, did not break the high or the low, did create an inside bar. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 80.26, possibly as low as 79.04. Look for some resistance around 79.95 and look for some support around 79.25. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair moved to the upside during uh, today's session. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 126.76, possibly as low as 124.98. Look for some resistance around 126.50 and look for some support around 125.50. Now the pound US dollar pair had a uh, Pretty small range day, closed, open and closed was pretty small as well, closed down a little bit, creating an inside bar. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 157.62, possibly as low as 15600. Look for some resistance around 157.25 and look for some support around 155.95. Now the U.S. Swiss, this pair closed down during this last session. Look for it to potentially on a reversal go up to 196.06, possibly as low as 094.74. Look for some resistance around 095.75 and look for some support around 094.87. Now as far as news announcements for tomorrow, uh, for tomorrow goes, we do have... Uh, we do have the Eurozone releasing their retail sales tomorrow at 5 a.m. Eastern for May. Consensus on that one is that it's moved higher from a negative 3.4% to negative 1.0%. Uh, positive number would definitely be good for the Eurozone and the Euro in general, but we'll just have to wait and see if that is the case. Now, we could, uh, could be going into a lighter volume day. Tomorrow is the 4th of July, which is a U.S. holiday, fairly large one. Banks are typically closed for that holiday. So uh, we're probably going to see a lighter than normal volume tomorrow uh, or going into this next session. So what I'd advise is to go to the... Uh, go to the hour time frame in the U.S. Japanese yen pair. And basically over the next several hours into this next session, uh, use a counter trend strategy uh, to grab pips. If you don't have one, uh, probably bouncing between the 79.92 mark and the 79.70 mark would be a good bet. Basically looking for it to zigzag back and forth between those two numbers. Uh, when it gets high, you sell. When it gets lower, you buy. It's that simple. And just look for um, look for it to zigzag during this next session, all during this next session, due to the U.S. being closed. Uh, if you really want to do this, wait till the Asian session is over. Typically, uh, you know, if the Asian session is open, it's going to push the market. But as soon as we get into the U.S. session, uh, around eight. 8, 8 a.m. Eastern. Asian session is going to be well closed by that time. European session is going to be probably light and thin and already open for a good while. So we'll see this zigzag type uh, pattern over the next several uh, hours. Well, I hope that helps. And until next time, this is Jason Filder. Good trading.